Okay, so where are we? We are in the city Braga in Portugal and we have already been walking down to the centrum of the city. So while heading down from our camping site for the night, we walked through this market on right on the street. I think it's every Tuesday because I think it's Tuesday today. And we are exploring the city today before we drive further on. So let's head into the town and see what Braga is all about. Luca is buckled up in his seat. Uh, I don't think we have showed you guys, but Luca has this really cool belt that makes him safe in the car and gives him a lot more room than to be in a cage all the time. And he loves it because he can lay down, look out the window, sit and watch us. <laughs> We are leaving this camping site. It only costs 12 euros per night for two people, one motorhome and electricity, which is really cheap. And it was like in the middle of Braga. We can put a little map here in the corner where you can see where the campsite was seated. But remember now we are visiting outside of season. We are in January, so it might be more expensive in the summertime. And Bastian had a lot, a lot of fun with the of you course, used to see him and that. oh my god the people were so nice to you so, so friendly, of course the people so were warm, so warm. nice mm. it was just so overwhelming it was just the it, vibe the 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 you you could feel the you could actually feel the love he, he was <laughs> That one guy was like, eh, if you need anything, if you need to shower, if you need to uh, uh, wash your clothes, uh, uh, we can eat breakfast tomorrow morning. And I was like, wow, Jesus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. Yeah. Very nice. So thank you, Braga. Very it's nice. been a pleasure. But now we are heading down to another place. Before we drive, we have to take our ginger shot. We really like this brand if my camera wants to focus. It's so fresh and strong. That's you what we want. We, you can feel that it's working. <laughs> Uh, Espo Sende. Sende. Yes. and uh, we found a beach yeah. near the the camping uh, park, the parking camping parking <laughs> the the camping park. Yes. So uh, we just decided to take a walk into the beach and uh, yeah. We have just book. been relaxing here for a bit. We've been laying on the beach for probably 40 minutes. Yeah. And now we're heading back to our camping to get cold. cold. It's not summer warm yet, but it was a really cool, cozy, cozy place. So we have been lying here in the sun. But now we need some food and we are going back. <laughs> Let's go! How do you feel about your home cooked meal tonight? This one is not like uh, the other dinners I've made. This is more like a, like a real homemade, uh, like a Chilean um, plate with <laughs> a lot. <laughs> but it's just healthy. It's very healthy. Good morning! Today we are finally heading towards Porto, which is a bigger city here in Portugal. And we have been wanting to come into this city for so long. We have been seeing it all over Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. And finally today we are going to experience the city. First of all, we are going in to do some shopping or food shopping. 
grocery, grocery shopping. Store shopping. Luca is more than ready to get out of here. It was a really cute place, this es Esposende. 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 We have been using our... Mm. Bastian. <laughs> <laughs> we have been using our time here to... <laughs> We have been using our time here in this city to kind of doing our research on... <laughs> we have been using our time here to do our research on Portugal, what we need to see, unique places, cities to visit, because we didn't really know much about Portugal and we have been seeing just a few small towns and we want to see unique, beautiful places. So we have made a plan for the next two I'm weeks sorry. and hopefully it's gonna be very fun. I knew something about Portugal. What did you do? Cristiano Ronaldo! Do Santos Aveiro! So guys, we just uh, came out from Aldi. Portugal is a very, very cheap. So we got uh, blueberries and raspberries and uh, this one. Um, and yeah, a lot of stuff for only 32 euros like vegan things. chunks and yeah a lot of vegetables so we just arrived to I'm porto sure <laughs> and uh, luca is having his first poop in porto portugal so we have arrived in the city of porto and we really really love the weather and everything there's so much to see here yeah and just too much it's too much and we only have two hours of parking but we're coming back tomorrow also we bought something that marlene wanted to uh, to try out for uh, very long uh, she saw it first on uh, i saw it on instagram on the page for explorer Cyrus, yes i think it's they are called and after they have been posting or raquel have been eating them so much on Instagram. I really needed to try them now that we are in Portugal. And they look like this. What was it? Pastel Natal? Na nata. Pastel de Nata. Ah, I okay. think. I will write it down below. So we're gonna try this. We bought one each. And hopefully they are very yummy. <laughs> okay, so Marlene just took the first bite of it. Oh and my uh, god. What do you think it's about it? It's so sweet, but yeah. it's so yummy. It's like a croissant but with vanilla cream inside, I think. Oh my God. I understand why it's so popular in Portugal and why everybody is eating this, but it's definitely a very, very treat. So you can't have too many of them, but I will enjoy this one though. Okay, so I had my first bite of it. And um, honestly, this is uh, my kind of favorite things. It's uh, just, the best things I know together and you don't even like sweets no but I love uh, chocolate uh, croissant and and I always ask for vanilla and uh -huh. uh, yeah sweets it's just perfect thank you <laughs> in the town of Porto and right now we have arrived to the cathedral of Porto we didn't come here yesterday frankly there were a lot of places we didn't see yesterday that's why we are back and hopefully we will see them all today so if you turn around right here you will see the beautiful cathedral
Porto was such a cute, amazing city. So we of course didn't get to see everything, even though we spent two days there and we spent two hours in the city. We went around for so many different places and tried to see as much as possible. We saw the famous uh, bridge and also we tried to find a place where you can see the whole bridge, which was really difficult, but we at least saw the beautiful cathedral and a lot of other places so all in all we got a very good impression of Porto Hello. and now we are in a new place and we are going out to take some videos and photos right outside here it's a very very small town and we are only here for this specific church from Aveiro. We just woke up and Bastian is making breakfast. I'm helping. No Netflix and chill. <laughs> and guys, we woke up and to yesterday night was the first time we Sorry. met a lot of open-minded and outgoing people. We were sitting outside I think for five, six hours. And that is something we have really been looking forward to with van life. That is meeting people and just talking about everything. So it was such a nice evening, so we didn't film much last night. But today we are heading down to Aveiro town. And tonight Bastian is going for a Jiu Jitsu training. I'm going to choke people. So we will take you guys along for that. But first of all, we need breakfast. If not, we are not functional human beings. Aveiro was actually really cute. There was a lot of canals and boats to see and actually there were many colorful houses more than we expected. So that was very beautiful but all in all we went through the city on within an hour approximately. We felt like we had seen what we needed to see and it was more than enough for a walk for Luca because it started to get warm outside. We are at the beach it's 7 or 18 19 degrees I think outside and we are ready to relax at the beach of course not for like many hours and, not, and we are only going to read and relax but Bastian have his swim shirts on and he is so happy <laughs> I am so happy we have been waiting for the sun and this warm weather for so long but first of all we are having some delicious yogurt with fruits it's so dark i don't think you can see here you can see then we are heading out to the beach It was a tiny, tiny bit chilly in the shadow. It was perfect. It was nice when the sun was warming, but it was it was so nice. So two degrees more, and it's gonna be perfect, though. And guys, as you can probably see, we are parked outside a stadium, or not? You can see it, but we are parked outside the stadium of. Aveiro because Bastian is soon going in there to train with a local jiu-jitsu team called Focus because this competition is coming up so he has to get ready for that and then we are driving today somewhere really special I think it will be a very very fun experience but that you will see in the next video so I think we're gonna finish up this video right here it's been long and after last night meeting those genuinely open-minded outgoing people i feel like van life is finally starting when we were saving up for this trip when we were back home in norway working every day long hours double shift i went from one job to the other it felt endless and you just didn't see 
the end result you didn't see how things was gonna turn out but last night sitting outside for hours talking to people and just meeting new people and being in another country living on the road being in the van like three vans next to next to each other on a parking lot and just having so much fun i was so sure inside of me that this this is what we like to do this is what make us happy and everything was worth it i like every single shift i have uh, worked before this trip was worth it this is the start of van life i feel like now it's beginning like this is it it can only go from up from here because it was so good are you do you agree yeah totally agree the special thing about it yesterday was that we finally got to meet people that thinks just like us and that did the exact exact same thing and by that i mean like quitting their jobs working saving money the other guys and the other vans build their their van uh, by uh, by themselves but it's kind of the same they have they have the same mentality, uh, mentality and, and yeah it was uh, it, it was, was so, so good. good to 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 finally meet people like that yeah porto braga and aveiro has been a blast finally po uh, uh, portugal yeah it's getting better it's getting it's better, getting and, better, better and, better. and better and we are so excited to see even more of this country and yeah really really look forward to the next video it's gonna be a lot of fun so guys, thank you for watching. If you don't subscribe, do it down here. Give it a big like as wait, usual. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna show what I'm making. Look at this. He's making sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries. See you in the next video.